Okay, um, I'm Tom Rammel and I'm um, part of EAA Chapter 878 and I'm working on this uh, enclosure for a new flight simulator. So, um, two of our members, um, one Laura Herman, she donated the um, flight controls and also the X-Plane version 11 uh, software and Dick Burrell um, recently deceased but he donated the computer for this flight simulator so um, let's get all the components mounted in this enclosure the enclosure is half inch marine grade, marine grade plywood and just painted it with uh, the slate gray color of paint so I've added a, a 2x4 frame to the inside to, to make a shelf and that'll be what the, the monitor mounts to and that allows the flight controls to go underneath the shelf the back part of the flight controls so it just makes it a little more compact so let's get started and, and start getting this figured out where things are going to mount so what I'm going to do first is I take a couple of sheets of paper together that are folded in half uh, the long way. I'm going to set this on the, on the edge here and this is so I can get figured out exactly where the flight controls needs to be and first I'm going to set the monitor on the shelf fires behind for now so there we go and I want to center the, the, the yoke right in the center of, of this monitor. So the center of the yoke is lined up with the center of the monitor. And I'm just going to take a pen and just make a, a mark on this paper on each side. So I, I know where. I'm trying to locate the holes to drill. Um, to put screws in through the bottom of this enclosure into the into the yoke. So <clears throat> now that I have the yoke um, located on the sheet of paper, I can take it back out and I can turn this over and lay this on the front edge the yoke and then figure out where the holes are, the mounting holes. So right here is one. There it is. Is that it? Nope, oh, that's not the one. It's over a little bit. So right there. One hole. this one, but those two holes are my mounting holes to locate the, the yoke. So. so now I can put this back on here and I can draw the holes. So there I have my two holes located for the bolts to get hold of the yoke. The back side of the yoke I don't really need to bolt down since it'll fit underneath the shelf and that'll hold the back side down. So I'm only going to put two screws in it to hold the yoke down. The shelf will be screwed down permanently once I locate the holes, mounting holes for the, for the monitor. So I'm going to drill those holes. I'll put some blind nuts in from the Oh no, these don't need blind nuts because the, the holes in the bottom of the yoke are tapped. So I'll just put bolts, the holes, um, put bolts in from the bottom it, right into the yoke. Okay, so I'm going to place a block of wood under here to drill into. And I'm going to drill my, um, drill my holes out. Yeah. 
let's find a, my screws are a little long, so I might not be too long. So if I can find the right washer for you. It'll be okay. Before I plug this in, I want to drill a hole in the back, the back of this 2x4 to get the cables through. Fits. No, they can fit. Good. So I'm just put these screws in. These are metric screws and they match the threaded inserts in the bottom of the yoke. So. so there we go. The yoke is mounted. one cable up over the back. That's out of the way. Okay, so I think we'll figure out how we're gonna mount the monitor. Actually, maybe I'll mount this throttle quadrant next. Gonna set the computer in here, just so we, so I know where, how much space I have. So I think that might be a good place to mount the throttle quadrant. Okay, so I have the um, yoke mounted, I have the throttle quadrant mounted, and I have the monitor screwed down to the shelf. I still need to screw the shelf down in the enclosure. But right now I'm making a, made this, bent this aluminum bracket to mount the computer, to hold the computer in place. So that's what I'm going to get installed. So um, I have the, a T-nut. And I have it drilled for the correct size to mount the T-nut into the side of the plywood. So I'm just going to pound that into place here.
It should be far enough for the screw to get a hold of it. And then the screw can suck it in a little further. So, put my screw in there. Once I get these dimensions figured out and get all this stuff mounted, then, then I'll put some uh, double-sided um, window caulking tape um, on the metal to so that it holds it tighter so the computer can't slide out. So there we go. Okay, I had to change perspectives a little bit. Um, I'm having a storm here and it, I was using the light from the window and lost my light because of the darkness of the storm. So I had to turn it so I could just use the room light. Anyway, um, this is the stuff I was talking about, the foam tape. It's used for weather seal. Um, and so that's what I'm going to use on this uh, this bracket that holds the computer in. So I'm just going to take some of this and attach it to the to the aluminum. So I'm just attaching this on the inside of my bracket. Okay. I'll just cut this off. Now it presses against the, the case, the computer case, and I can also peel this part off. And it'll add a little bit of stickiness to the computer case to hold it in place. So I'll make sure I get it in the right spot where it'll hold best. And then I'll just put my screws back in and that should lock the lock the computer in place. Okay, so I want to get some cable tie management taken care of. So I have these little clips that I can screw on. I don't like the adhesive ones because they usually peel off with a little bit of cable movement. So these um, as a wood screw, it screws into the wood and then you can use cable ties or zip ties to organize the cables. So I'm going to put one of these in the back. Okay, so that was kind of hard to film since I was right in the way of in between the shot and the camera. But anyway, here's um, how it turned out. So I just need to cut off the end of the cable tie, but uh, that organizes the cables going between the computer and the other peripherals. So oh, this has Windows 11 on it, and I've got it set up to to boot into um, X Plane. This takes a few minutes.
And there we go. Or booted into X-Plane 11.